Hey guys, it's Taz from Aqua Express. Today I'm going to be uh, discussing uh, titanium heaters, why I prefer them over some of the alternatives on the market, and um, why I think you should too. Um, I've had a few questions, people asking, uh, why should I switch over to the Shego titanium heaters or titanium heaters in general? Um, why are they any better? Why are they any worse? What, what, why are they? Why should I choose them over glass or the counterparts? You know. Um, so I think it's pretty common knowledge. Um, if if any piece of equipment in your tank was going to fail, I'd bet it's going to be a heater. Um, and a, a, a failed heater it can can have detrimental effects to your tank. Um, two, uh, the heater staying on too long can nuke your tank, uh, lead to lead to hypoxia in the water, um, depleting the whole water column of oxygen, leaving your fish dead or gasping for air if you catch it on time. Uh, this is still not a desired outcome, and I'd avoid it at all costs. Uh, I've had many people lose beloved fish, uh, wipe out whole tanks just because of this one issue. Another issue is if your heater simply doesn't work at all and your water gets too cold, that can lead to really, really poor water conditions, ick, etc, etc. A lot of uh, a lot of diseases can, can come in your water and it's just, it's, just, it's just not good at all. It's something you really want to avoid. Either way, really you want your heater to function and if it fails either way, you're going to have pretty catastrophic effects. Um, each one of them, of course, will uh, revol uh, involve mortalities. So um, I'm pretty sure you're all, you'd all be familiar with this. This is your, uh, your Eheim Jagger heater. Pretty common heater, and, um, and for a while this has been your best-selling heater. Um, now what you'll find is you get a scale on here after a while. Um, this gets on there, and, and sometimes it can actually get so bad it, uh, it, it actually just impairs the ability of the, uh, for the heater to actually uh, function properly. Um, it really just simply doesn't work. Um, it also, uh, being glass, shatters very easily, little bump in your tank, and um, if you pull it out hot, I've um, often made this mistake, you know, when I'm moving around some, uh, moving sumps around, or, you know, for whatever reason, moving tanks, moving the heater out the way, you know, sometimes you got, sometimes you can't wait, you know, you can't sit there and wait, or, you know, sometimes you just, you just, you just forget, you know, and you take it out and it's hot, and all of a sudden just shatters. I've also had, had these, just, these things just around the shadow, it wasn't heating enough, the water got too cold and the heater was really hot and shattered. Um, this causes all sorts of issues. Um, of course, well, for a start, you've got electric current running through your tank, which is um, not good in any, any, any kind of scenario. Um, you actually lose a lot more heat in these than the titanium heaters. Uh, being glass, um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of the heat um, comes to it. Um, these, uh, in this particular example, I believe these are made in Germany. However, I have heard that they do, um, do they do have some parts now that are manufactured in China. Um, I, I don't take my word on that, but, but I have heard that, that's what's going around. Um, but for the most part, a lot of these aren't, um, don't have the same quality control as the Shego heaters do. Um, I'm sure you're all familiar with the Aquazonic um, heaters, nuked many tanks in its days, and um, it's definitely not a, not a fond memories for many people. Um, it's don't want to um don't want to bag Aquazonic over here, but um what can I say? It's 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 it doesn't have very um a very good name, <laughs> including for myself. I'm speaking out of personal experience. Um, this brings me to put forward the Shego heaters, the ones we're talking about. Um, so this here is your Shego titanium heater. For a start, the size difference is very comparable. Um, this one here is only uh, 350 mil long. And it's uh, it's got a uh, 25 mil girth, um, which is pretty similar um, in that of the ja of the Jager. So if anything, this is going to be easier to fit into your sump, easier to submerge, and easier to submerge. Um, you'll find that the, the technically, even though a lot of people do, you're not actually supposed to submerge these uh, all the way. Um, they should be sitting up above the water line with this part out. Now, for those with sumps like me, a few people don't. A lot of people don't have sumps that are this long. So, um, so that can be very difficult um, to, to keep this up. This is fine if it's in your main tank, but not only is that unsightly, um, if you've got rays or you know different fish, they get, they get burns. It's just um, it's not good. You've got to get a heater guard for it, etc., etc. Which, of course, is, is not too much of an issue. But you know, some people like me simply, you know, and I'm, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do, um, you value the, the aesthetics of your tank because that's really what it's there for. So it's it's quite hard to hide these in a sump. And even, even the canisters that have the heaters built in, it's very hard to hide something this long. Yeah? This one's almost half that, uh, 350 mil, and um, 
uh, it can be fully submerged, so tucked under this way or this way, no drums at all. Um, it's going to come with a with a um, Australian plug fitted um, in accordance with 3820 and 3720, uh, the Australian standards. Um, so there's no issues there. Um, all ticked off, and you can message me for further information on this. Um, made in Germany. Uh, these 100% made in Germany. I can confirm this, and um, that of course Germany has a very uh, very high safety standard. Of course, all MC tested and uh, CE certified. Um, so there's no there's no issues there with safety. Um, all of these will come with a two year warranty. So um, if anything goes wrong in two years, that's no problem. You can send us an email, send it in. Um, we'll give you the we'll send you out a shipping label for your for your um for your heater. Send it back to us free of charge, and we'll send you a replacement heater. No dramas with that at all. Um, so you've got a two year warranty on this, um, and that's backed by Shego as well. Um, so they run at two thirty volt. Yeah. Now we're going to move to um, now we're going to move into energy efficiency. So how do these compare in energy efficiency um, compared to the, your Eheims over here, you know, the Eheim counterparts? And I'm not just referring to Eheims; um, I'm referring to glass heaters in general. Um, in terms of glass heaters, I still would say uh, the Eheim is the best of the glass heaters. Um, so in terms of energy efficiency, um, these used to be rated for two. Uh, these are rated, or they used to be rated for two watts per every liter. Uh, two, sorry. My mistake there. Uh, two liters per watt, so 300 watt is supposedly supposed to be do uh, 600 liters. I personally don't go by this. Of course, this is subject to you know how warm your house is, etc., etc. I personally would not um, hold them to this, and I do one watt irregardless. If this could do two watts, so could this. But I, I always go one watt per liter. So that said, you can get 600 watt. Um, so that said, so this one's 600 watt. This one's 300 watt. However, glass, you're going to lose a lot more heat through glass than you will with titanium. So it's going to insulate better and it's going to, it's going to, it's going to heat a lot better. Um, you don't get a, another, another thing is, of course, this is regards to the topic, but, um, but another thing is glass, you'll get a lot of oxidation on there, um, causing them to wear out quicker. And especially marine, this is, uh, this is, this is sped up even, even more. Um, so it's another thing to note, uh, titanium, that's going to happen a lot slower and these will last you. Yeah, whilst the warranty covers two years, these will last you a lifetime. These, you look after these, you know, these, these last you a long time. Although I do recommend, um, if, if you really want to be safe, yeah, and, and you don't like to live your life on the edge, I would 100% recommend getting these replaced uh, as, as soon as the warranty runs out. Just to be safe, and that means you're always covered, you know, if something goes wrong, you just grab a new one, no dramas at all. Um, I've never had anyone have to replace these anyway, and it's always good to have a spare. Um, so, so that is one thing. But um, so this is going to outlast this in terms of uh, durability. So it's you know way strong. You know that's not gonna that's not gonna go anywhere. You know you can you can bend that around. Couldn't say the same with with, with a glass heater like this. Um, so yeah, so that's why um, that's that's why I like these. Um, so now we're going to talk about the cost, the price point. So how much is one of these going to cost you compared to these? Now a lot of people are you know Shego is pretty well known to be expensive, and um, and it is. But I'm sure you're all familiar with the fallacy of the poor man pays twice, which is very true. Yes, you can get something like this, or even the e-home, you know, this is going to set you back $80 once, yeah. But you're going to have to buy another one in a year or so, or, you know, two years, whenever it is. But you're going to have to buy another one, you know, even six months, two years. And when something goes wrong, you know, yeah, these are going to wear out a lot quicker. It's going to last you longer. It's a one-time purchase. Um, Remember the, these uh, the, these sugar heaters, they do not have an inbuilt thermostat in the same way the the Eheims do, um, so you will need to purchase an, uh, for these to function. You will need to purchase an external thing, uh, thermostat. We sell these in in the forms of the Inkbird as well as the Aqualogic. Um, Aqualogic is really good, and Inkbird works for itself, but Inkbird is obviously much cheaper. Um, we'll do a further video on these in the future. Um, there's also a lot of other brands of thermostats you can get your Aquamedic, uh, Apex makes some, uh, Neptune, um, as you, as you, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with them. Um, that's just the brands that we stock. Um, so they will, need, they will need that. But, this is, the way, this is the way I break it down. So, let's say Inkbird's going to cost you $60 through our, through our site um, on discount, you know, or $80. So $180, let's say it's going to cost you $180. Yeah. Um, to get the same heating as this, this, this one's going to be a 300 watt. You know? And this one here, you've got a 600 watt. So you're going to get almost double, you know, because you can't do 600 watt glass heaters without doubling them up. Um, unfortunately, it just doesn't work uh, in titanium. So it, it's possible with titanium. So you're going to get 600 watt for the same price uh, 
for, for a little bit more than this. So, so for double these, so this is 300 watts. So this is going to set you back $90. That's about average price I've seen. So you're going to be paying $180 anyway for two of these to get the same heating power. Not to mention, you've got this as well as a thermostat. So realistically, to, you, to, to, get the, to get the same heating power of this, it's actually going to cost you more in the glass. <laughs> Would you believe it? You know? Yes, it's a, it's a bit more of an upfront cost. And um, some, people, some people don't like to... Um, don't don't like don't you know struggle with that, but um, it's it, it's 100% worth it. And for the most part, you should be using um these glass heaters with an external thermostat as well. It's just an extra uh, mode of precaution, keeps you safe. Um, it'll notify you on your phone if anything goes wrong. One of these fail, and it'll avoid those catastrophes that happen when your tank gets new, etc. etc. Which is something that you would do want to avoid. So the ink birds really are good redundancy. Um, so I'd use them on either whether you're having a uh, titanium heater or a glass. So 100% would recommend these guys. Um, um, yeah, that, couldn't recommend them more. Um, if you do have any any questions on the Shego heaters, um, how we do them, um, any of the other products, please let us or leave us a comment below. Send us an email. Anything. More than happy to help, and we try to be as responsive uh, responsive as possible. Um, I've got some more of these, so um, we'll let you know when uh, more of these are in stock. Um, they should be in stock very very soon, and um, yeah, hopefully. Um, Hopefully you take something from this video, um, and hopefully you decide to join us um, in the titanium heaters. Hopefully this has changed your mind. Um, anyway, this has been Taz, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.